Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Amantha B calls Ivanka Feckless CNT on TV. Trump destroys her with nasty surprise. Samantha B is this leftist so-called comedian who caters to the useful idiots in America. Anyone with any brains doesn't know or watch this woman. Last night, she crossed a line. In a planned monologue, she called Ivanka Trump a feckless CNT, but it gets worse. She also called for Ivanka to do some unspeakable stuff that is inexcusable in polite society. Well, President Donald Trump just destroyed B with a nasty surprise she won't ever forget. Only 48 hours after Roseanne Barr was dumped by ABC for tweeting an ill-advised statement about Valerie Jarrett, TBS comedian and Trump hater Samantha Bee launched into a filthy monologue about Ivanka Trump and the president. We must warn you, Bee's comments go beyond the pale of anything we've heard in a very long time. Bee's filthy rant started with her showing a tweet featuring an image of Ivanka holding her small child. The TBS host screamed, you know, Ivanka, that's a beautiful photo of you and your child, but let me just say, one mother to another, do something about your dad's immigration practices you feckless CNT. Unfortunately, she wasn't done there. He listens to you. Put on something tight and low cut and tell your father to fking stop it. Tell him it was an Obama thing and see how it goes, she concluded. We can only ascertain that, since the word CNT was bleeped out, the TBS network was well aware of her rant and approved it. With a mouth like that, Samantha B is allowed to parent children? Wow. I feel sorry for her little ones. But, I digress. B has now apologized after millions of Americans became incensed and outraged. Yet, we all know an apology just doesn't cut it anymore, right? Haven't the new rules been updated by the leftists in charge of Hollywood? Don't they dictate that B should be fired, just as swiftly as Roseanne Barr was? Shoot, Roseanne's crime was a tweet at 2 a.m., B planned her assault. Listen, folks, leftists don't really play by rules. They impose rules on conservatives, but then, when it comes to one of their own players on the field of battle in the culture wars, B's apology suffices and no further action will be taken by TBS. In B's fake apology, there's no mention of the president. Instead, she tweeted, I would like to sincerely apologize to Ivanka Trump and to my viewers for using an expletive on my show to describe her last night. It was inappropriate and inexcusable. I crossed a line, and I deeply regret it. Except, conservatives aren't buying it. Mark Levin and Rush Limbaugh are calling for B's immediate termination. If these Hollywood leftists want rules, fine let's play by the rules. Fire that waste of space Samantha B immediately or call it a day and reinstate Roseanne, and let's stop all this madness over what people say. President Donald Trump issued a statement through White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders, which is fueling all Trump supporters to dig in and raise holy hell on social media until the leftist loser is utterly destroyed. We won't stop until B is gone. Her disgusting comments and show are not fit for broadcast, and executives at Time Warner and TBS must demonstrate that such explicit profanity about female members of this administration will not be condoned on its network, Sanders' White House statement said. Conservative and Fox News contributor Brent Bozell also weighed in, tweeting, Samantha B's vile, on-air joke about Ivanka Trump was beyond offensive. Will ITP's network give her the same treatment as at their Al Roseanne or does she get a free pass because her comments were directed at a Trump? Trump supporters and conservatives across the country are livid, like Macropoli who tweeted, You know what? I want to see a right-leaning group of comedians who go absolutely nuclear on anyone on the left. No pulling punches. No rules. Just to balance things out. Well, we all know of the double standard, right? Only leftist can get away with disgusting comments. Roseanne Barr on the other hand, gets annihilated. ABC, Disney, and now TBS are on the boycott list. Conservatives aren't snowflakes. We don't tire or give in. Keep sounding off on social media, calling for Samantha Bee's immediate firing, and anyone who hires her, boycott. Let these Hollywood leftists feel the wrath of flyover country. We shocked them by electing President Donald Trump, we can do it again. We are no longer silent, we are in charge. Don't let them forget it. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.